How's it going everybody? My name is MDK, WLAN, otherwise known as MDK, but today I'm going to actually hide my, uh, unhide my an anonymity. Uh, my true name is Cody, and today I come with you not with a Linux video or anything like that, just a general video about what's going on in my life and perhaps maybe help someone if they're in the same predicament. Uh, so be warned that this isn't going to be about Linux, this isn't going to be about technology, it's just going to be just a rambling that I have, and uh, more of an explanation on why I've been uploading videos in like the past three months now. So about two months ago on Mother's Day, my mom had a uh, fairly massive heart attack. Uh, she was flown to the uh, you know local, it's called Geisinger. She was full to flown to the local guy singer in um in a town that's fairly far away. She so she had to be life flighted away. Um so <laughs> that was wonderful. And then a week later she had another heart attack. Um, which is fairly common. So, you know, dealing with that that was bad, but it <laughs> trust me, it gets worse. Uh about roughly two weeks after her second heart attack uh, my dad had to go into the hospital because he had a condition. Uh, he had a he has a very long list of conditions. Um, I guess I'll explain that too. Uh, seven years ago, we had a very, very, very bad snowstorm on Valentine's Day. So my dad was out shoveling snow, and while shoveling snow, he ended up slipping on ice and hurting his back. His back was bothering from you know uh, bothering him for quite a couple days, so he decided to go to the doctor. Uh, doctors did an x-ray and found an abnormality on uh, his thoracic region. So, because of that, they sent him for a pet because they were initially thinking cancer. And it turns out that it wasn't cancerous, it was actually his kidney. Uh, he had a condition, I forget the name of it, uh, but essentially his kidney fell off the shelf, if you will. So your kidney is normally like located in near the upper region of your back, like mid to upper region of your back, and his was located on the front part of his stomach. So like, because he was a bigger guy, he had you know he had a belly. Uh, so about I don't know. <laughs> See, I don't have a video camera, so I can't really show you. But ab about a few inches away from his crotch, so it was fairly big. That and he let a hernia go for ten years. So, uh, because of this, they, they had to remove the organ because it was only operating at 10% capacity. They removed the organ, and they fixed the hernia, and all's well. So, it turns out, because of that surgery, he's had to deal with uh, edema. And to those that don't know, edema is essentially just water buildup in the skin. And it's normally due to trauma. So, it's fairly common. But my dad's edema um, wasn't very... I don't want to say it wasn't very well managed because it was. It's just that there wasn't enough uh, concern about it. So we flash forward the seven years to about about a month now. He had to go to the hospital because his legs were actually oozing liquid out of uh, oozing liquid um, because the edema was starting to get that bad. And while he was there, he was diagnosed with uh, congestive heart failure. So. That was, you know, that, that's a little heartbreaking. <laughs> no pun intended, of course, but it was quite heartbreaking to know that, you know, he has congestive heart failure. It's quite a serious condition. So a week after his admi after that admission, he had to go back in for low potassium because they were monitoring his blood levels. Um, he also had peripheral neuropathy and a bunch of different problems that pretty much made him so that he was permanently disabled for the rest of his life. And then, uh... <laughs> And then about a week after the low potassium thing, he had a uh, acute, acute myocardial infarction, which pretty much in layman's terms means his heart stopped working or in a, it went into a rhythm and the rhythm wasn't enough to sustain life. And my father died on the 8th of June. So um, that was... Uh, you know that was heartbreaking. Of course, it's always, it's always sad to lose a family member. But um, you know, I'm only 20 years old, and I lost, you know, I lost my father. So it's it's quite heartbreaking. 
Um, like I said, the story gets worse. Uh, ten days after we have my dad's uh, viewing and burial, uh, my mom gets the diagnosis that she has cancer. So about a week after we get the diagnosis from the thoracic surgeon, it turns out she has stage 4 adenocarcinoma. And for those that don't know, adenocarcinoma is a lung cancer, and um, stage 4 is pretty much end-stage cancer. Uh, stage 4 of pretty much any cancer is bad. And the initial prognosis for my mother was 12 to 24 months. So, in her case, uh, the cancer has metastasized, uh, which in layman's terms, metastasized means that it's spreading and it's invaded her adrenal gland, which is called the pheochromocytoma. Um, it's invaded her all, every lumbar in her back, like the L1, the L3. It's invaded her salivary glands, her effigial tract. Or her higher lymph node, uh, femur, hip, both uh, both sides of her hip, and uh, the actual be the bottom of the femur where it connects to the knee. So, the original prognosis was 12 to 24 months, but it's pretty much been it's been cut down to probably about six or seven now. Uh, normally with lung cancer, there's, uh, with adenocarcinoma at least, or not any non-small -sm cell lung cancer, uh, you can have a, two different gene mutations. Uh, one's EFRG mutation and the other one's ALK. And with both of them, you can be actually managed without having to do, um, you do one round of chemo, one round of radiation, and then you're just managed by this pill. And it has been shown to extend lives of uh, lung cancer patients for a fairly long amount of time. Um, both of those were negative. Um, the only good thing so far that we've been able to know is that the cancer has not metastasized to her brain at all yet. So there's always a positive note that it's not in her brain at least yet. So the past three months for me have been rough to say the least. And, you know, I don't want this to be like a oh what was me story what I want this to serve as is that if anybody that watches me has a really bad day or you know the wor you think your world's crumbling or anything bad is happening always know that it can always get worse and that's pretty much what keeps me going through every throughout the day is that I I know that there are people that are worse than me I mean yeah my situation's bad but there's always someone that's worse than me and that's pretty much what gets me through it. Uh, a lot of people turn to religion for comfort and without getting into a religious argument because this is the last thing I want to do on the internet because <laughs> the internet loves to argue. Uh, I'm not a religious person and I don't have religious views. So for me that's not an outlet. For me the outlet is enjoying the time I have left with my mom and then moving on with my life as painfully as that will be without her. So I ended up having to drop out of college uh, to help my mom and that's currently what I'm doing. As for this YouTube channel, I do hope to get back to it eventually and I do apologize to people that have been commenting and sending me messages that I haven't been able to respond um, mainly because I, I honestly I don't have time. I'm taking my mother to chemo treatments, taking her to radiation treatments, um, you know, trying to to make her last few months matter to her in the sense that, you know, her son's with her all the time. I'm with her throughout this whole process, you know, making memories with her, making, you know, just solace in general, trying to, trying to make her day better. And, uh, you know, real life always takes precedence over something you do on the internet. So, <laughs> like I said, I don't want this to be a woe is me thing because it's really not. Like, it, it, There's always someone that's worse off than me. So I'd like to leave you guys off with 
uh, the probably one of the best photos of my dad when he was younger, and then a picture of my mom, and that I'll end the video. Uh, I will be back to YouTube eventually. I might make a video in the future sometime, but I believe the 200 sub subscribers that are subscribed to me deserve to know where I've been and what I'm doing. So I thank you all, not as some anonymous voice on the internet, but as a 20-year-old person living in Pennsylvania with the name Cody. So have a good one, guys. Take care.